Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Playwright series. Today we are going to talk about one very important fundamental thing in Playwright that how exactly Playwright using the browser. So, for example, whenever we are launching the browser, so what exactly Playwright does? This is my browser. It could be a Chromium browser, Firefox or WebKit or Apple Safari or whatever. And from this browser instance, I would say, from this browser instance, I'm going to create two browser contexts. For example, you can create multiple browser contexts. Let's say I'm creating the browser context uh, one. This is my context number one, and this is my browser context number two. And these are the two independent contexts that I have created. And there are many advantages you can do that. And on the same browser, I'm going to launch the separate URL. For example, let's see, this is my uh, URL number one on this browser context and this is my URL number two on the second browser context so I can say okay fine this is my page number uh, page number one and this is my page number two or I can say this is my application some other application number one and this is application number two here so what is the advantage of this the advantage is that from the same browser instance you are creating the browser context Let's see, this is my browser context one, and then this is my browser context number two. You are creating two different parallel contexts. They all are running in the, uh, I would say totally isolated. They will not disturb each other. And they are running in the separate incognito mode. And then you can launch a separate application here and then separate application over here. For example, certain use cases where we have to do uh, one single use case that we have to write or one single test case we have to write where we have to perform the multi-user login. So let's see with this application I'm going to log in with the admin user right and with this I'm going to check with the customer that okay customer is able to see whatever the admin changes are happening on the customer or not with this on the same browser context. So your test script will uh, remain same. The only thing is that from the browser you are creating multiple contexts. In fact, for the chat based application, you are sending the chat. Let's see, this is the user number one and you have logged in here with user number two. And then you are sending the chat to user number two. Hey, how are you? And user number two is replying to this particular user that I'm good. How are you? So in that case, the same uh, script with the same use case, with the same test case, you can write the same chat based application. Also, you can automate that. So multiple uh, windows or uh, you are opening and then multiple applications with respect to their respective URL page and everything will be different You're opening in different browser context So like this you can create n number of contexts from the browser from the same browser instance You can create n number of browser context over here like this So and then some other application is running over here some other application is running over here and then and other applications are running on some other context and then they are totally isolated. How to do it practically? Let's see that. So for example, let's say I want to open Firefox or Chromium or whatever. So let's say I'm just going to open uh, Chromium. This is the first thing that we always write. This is what a browser instance that I'm getting it. And if you see the browser, it's saying the browser is created via browser.launch method. So this launch method is saying it returns the browser instance over here. Right. So whenever you're writing chromium.launch, I'm running in, let's see, a non-headless mode. It's giving you the browser instance. And from this browser instance, you create n number of contacts that you want to create. So when you write, see this new context method here, this will give you a browser context. See, it's giving you a browser context. It creates a new browser context. It won't share cookies and cache with other browser context. It's totally isolated browser context. So I can... Uh, say okay fine this is my for example it's giving you the browser context so I'm going to store inside the browser context let's see this is my browser context number one so I'll write br uh, cx1 is equal to this and from the same browser context one you can open a new page so you simply write a new page over here and then this new page will give you let's see page p1 is equal to this and from this particular p1 page I'm going to uh, launch uh, navigate a URL so I'll say, okay, fine. This is my HTTPS colon. Any application that you want to pick, you can pick that. This is the application that I have picked. And then from there, what exactly you want? Uh, from there, what I want that, uh, let's say I want to fill something here. 
so let's say I want to enter in the full name see you just go to inspect here and uh, you can see ID is equal to form submit form underscore name and I want to fill something so how to fill that we will see the locator strategies and everything later on but just to see that this particular method the fill method is available simple write dot fill it's saying what is a selector so you have to pass the CSS selector so this is my ID for ID we use hash see the selector which value that you want to write so I'll say okay fine I want to write Naveen okay and then after that I want to capture the title of this page so I'll write system dot outer print Allen I'll directly print it on the console let's see print title now see this I can create another context also see the exact same code I am going to write now give me one more context <coughs> okay from the same browser instance you are creating one more context here and then you are storing with the same context that you are using it creating a new page storing inside the p2 context page context this is p2.navigate to some other application for example some other application that I am going to use I am going to use automationpractice.com so I will just copy this URL and then I will use some other different application here okay other application and on this application let's say I want to enter something inside the search field so let's go to inspect and then this is the ID search query top and uh, this is the ID and then I'm writing okay let's find a dress over here and then from this you just give me the p2 dot title here perfect and then after that if you really want to close the respective browser context so you can simply write brcx1.close and brcx2.close also so I'm not closing it but let's see is it really running or not it's working or not right so I'll do one thing right click on it go to run as Java application and try to observe there will be two browsers will be open see two browsers are getting opened first of all this is my browser context number one orange hrm it's not a parallel execution kind of a stuff but first the browser context one and then see the second context where the different application is getting open here you can see that and you can see that uh, on the first context Naveen got entered and in the second context dress got entered over here on the second page so this is so amazing for example in such cases let's say you have a chat window you're sending one chat from one window to another window and from second window to the first window you can easily do that such scenarios you can easily do that in selenium it is so difficult because in selenium you have to log in with the first user and then log out and then again log in to the second user in the same window that is what you have to do right but here it's so simple here you can just create n number of contacts like that for third party uh, application for multi-user uh, login application you can use that whenever you are writing RBAC based use cases like role based access control and permission based access control what will happen you change something from the admin user and then it will be reflected over here so you can Im immediately come and then you can go to the contact us or any link or any menu you can check it is actually displayed or not within the same test case you can write it over here like this if you really want to see and it's getting the title also if you really want to open one more context you can create n number of contacts here so let's see let's see I'm writing a third context remember the first browser instance that you have created from the same browser instance you are creating multiple browser contacts so let's see this is my this is my third context I say page number three page number three you navigate to some other application so let's see I'm navigating this time google.com and I don't want to print anything I, I just I mean I don't want to enter anything I just print the title of the uh, google.com and then after that if you really want to close you can close whenever it's needed so I'll say okay fine p1 dot uh, close then I'll say p2 dot uh, close here and if you really want to close the context also that also you can do that so you can simply write uh, before that I want to close the context I'll do one thing first uh, I'm going to close the uh, page and then I'm going to close the context like this you can just create see three context here from the same browser instance so let's see it's a white king or not I mean, this is so amazing feature and this feature is actually missing in selenium and cypress so see this is my context number one and uh, Naveen got entered this is my context number two and the browser context number one got uh, closed automatically and see this is my context number three and then done 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 and then three contacts are getting closed page got closed 
and three title that we are printing it on the console like this. So this is a concept of browser context with the help of new context method you can create that it will create a new context and it won't share cookies and cache with other browser context and remember whenever you are let me just uh, comment it out I'll just open it again see try to observe one more thing here whenever you are opening any new browser context and launching the page of this application it will always open in the incognito mode can you see that incognito mode it means it will not store any cookies and cache this is so amazing why because the cookies and cache that we are not storing it and then it will not affect the other test case also in that case otherwise what will happen on the same window if you are logging with admin user and login with another window you are logging with some other user and you are storing the cookies and cache and you are using the same instance obviously that uh, you have to refresh the page and clear the cookies and cache every time just like we do it in selenium here we don't need to do that so this is something a really good uh, feature that they this is a way that it's designed actually and it's coming and it's happening because of the architecture is based on websocket so this is a symbol a uh, simple small thing that i really wanted to show you guys before we proceed further uh, how exactly the browser context is working maybe in future i'll try to give you one practical example of chat application how to automate the chat you can we can also learn about it later on we can see one use case about that later on thank you so much guys that's all for this particular video i hope you are liking playwright it's an amazing tool a lot of amazing stuff and a lot of good things are happening around uh, playwright so please try to learn share with others subscribe to the channel and if you have any kind of questions feel free to write in the comment section i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all